Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of creating labels for your junk journals. So what we're going to need today, and don't worry if you do not have a hole punch. Um, remember, if you have coins, if you have bottle caps, you'll be just fine. This is a one inch hole punch that I used, and this one is one and a quarter. Now, this is a standard bottle of alcohol, and it just so happens that the top of the alcohol is a one inch circle. So if you have an alcohol bottle running around your house, um, you can use that, or again, you can use a coin. Um, from time to time, we all get sick and we have to go to the doctor. This is a medicine bottle and it just so happens that the bottom of the medicine bottle is approximately one and one fourth uh, of an inch. So find your coins, your buttons, all kinds of, of things that are round and I'll bring them to the table and let's get started. So I like to uh, look at Pinterest. Um, and I, I came across these really, really nice um, labels. And I thought, gee, you know, how can I make something like that? So as I got a, a closer look at the image, what I saw was this is a rectangle and these are semicircles that are on the end. So what I did was I uh, cut out a rectangle. You, you don't have to use the, uh, the same dimensions that I used, but just in case you want to. Uh, this one, the length here is two and three eighths of an inch, two and three eighths. Um, uh, the height is uh, one and three eighths of an inch. And this is where I used my uh, one inch hole punch. And I just uh, popped out one a circle and then I cut it in half and then I took my snail glue so you'll need some glue and I glued along both sides both ends you don't need a lot for this just a little bit and then what I did was I went, I tried to get uh, in the center this way and I went in, oh, that's about a 16th of an inch. And I did that with each uh, uh, semicircle, about 16th of an inch. And I tried to be even this way. Then you get your, um, you get your scrap paper that you that you really like using and what I did was I turned mine over and then I took a pencil and I just used this little template that I created and drew around it now this is going to be fast because I think you know by now uh, with me I'm just focused more on showing you a technique than being too fancy fancy neat neat and And then you get this and you just cut around it and you get a shape that looks like this. And then what I did was I used my distressed ink. And then if you remember from the previous time we did some labels, I, as you can see, I've been busy. You see all these cutouts. I created these in Microsoft Word. I used different fonts, different sizes. And remember like the last time, if you don't have anything like that, if you have a book, a catalog, um, and you see words and phrases, you can uh, cut those out, get them uh, all inked up, and then uh, get your, uh, your favorite glue. And uh, again, this is just going to be quick, just to show you the, the, how I did this. It's not gonna be very, very neat. And I was able to create what I saw by just looking at the uh, the shape of the of the label. 
Then I saw another variation on that particular label. And what I saw when I took a closer look, again, I saw a rectangle. I saw the semicircles on the side, but then I also saw um, these somewhat larger uh, uh, circles. Um, and then I thought, okay, I'll use the bigger hole punch on that. So I used the same dimensions for that inner, for that inner rectangle, the two and three eighths by the one and three eighths. And then I, once again, I used my one inch hole punch and I cut that in half. Let's just get our pieces on the side. Then I use my bigger one and one fourth inch. And then cut that in half as well. And then I had to use my snail glue again. This time you're going to do four sides and you don't need that much just along the edge and centered. So for the sides, I used the smaller circles. And again, I went in at about a 16th of an inch and I tried to get uh, in the center this way. And I did that on both sides. And then with the larger circles, I went in a little bit deeper. When I looked at the image, it wasn't, it wasn't as high. So I went in a little bit deeper. And I did that on both sides. I tried to get in the center this way. tried to get that even and then I pressed and then again you get the paper that you like let's say that this is you know my favorite scrap paper and I did the same thing I drew around the template that I made and save your templates in case you want to use them later, what you can do is uh, trace over, as I'm tracing here, I'm tracing over a plain sheet of paper, and then use that as your template, because these are all, they get sticky. Um, so, let me just get there. So, and there's the shape. So, same thing, you're going to cut it out, and you're going to uh, use your words, and then you have a label with a, a fancier shape. Then I did another variation on this. This one, when I saw the image, I saw a square, and again, I saw those semicircles. So this time, Here's the template that I had created. The square is one and one half inches. And again, I used the one inch hole punch and I cut things in half and I went in about uh, a 16th of an inch. I wanted to do a larger version of that because I had a, um, a scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, that I, this one I wanted to use. And um, this could be perhaps a, a pocket top because this one is really large. Um, then I have... I saw other shapes and I have this uh, tab punch. So I thought, you know, I, I can perhaps come close to the shapes that I saw with the tab punch. So what I did was I punched one side, then I flipped it over. 
and I punched the other side and then I got this. And then again with my labels, this one I kind of threaded the label through and um, and that's how I did that. I just kind of glued it through the, the, the edging there, um, through the hole. Now again, you as we saw uh, in another video that I did where I showed you how to create templates, maybe you don't like having this, these holes here. So here's your template. So what you do is, and I'll just draw right on top of this. What you do is you just draw around it on your favorite scrapbook paper. Cut it out and the holes are gone. Now maybe this is kind of wide for you. So what you can do is I cut mine in half. And then I brought the two edges in together and then I, you can see what I did here. You know, I, I glued them together and then I did the same thing that I just previously did. I drew around it, ignored these inner inner holes, and then I created this. I saw one other label that looked like this. And when I studied it, what I saw was, this is just a larger rectangle with a smaller, longer rectangle. So this was the template that I had created. And for the longer rectangle, it's an inch this way, and it's uh, three and one eighth, three and one eighths of an inch long. This uh, other triangle here, I'm sorry, not triangle, rectangle. It's a rectangle in a rectangle. Um, the length is two and three eighths and the height is one and one fourth. And that's it. So I do hope that that was helpful to you today. And uh, I'd love for you to head on over to Root Pursuit and check out Kelly. She is doing a 100 day project uh, where each day she's looking at different kinds of crafts and things that you, you can do as you're creating your junk journals. So please head on over to Root Pursuit and support Kelly and cheer her on. Alrighty, see you next time. Bye-bye.